So I would like to raise a point of order. What would that be? Go ahead. And this 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 point of order I would like to raise is completely is different from the point of order that I raised last time we did a take for this video and I raised a point of order about No, no, that was an alternate timeline. Alternate timeline. And and we and we talked about a load of science stuff. That was mm -hmm. because of an incredible point that I made in the last video, and in this timeline, you made the same point and you Good stole product. it from me, only you fucked it up by saying yes, that sir. nebulas contain oxygen. Do they not contain Good oxygen? Job. Yes! You, you totally Good said they contain... He said carbon. Your point? No, I, I, said, I said they contain ionized gases. This is an old Which, soldier. What's your point? It's been in my uh, family well, since my uh, uh, just, just that I was doing more background reading in the downtime Can between all of our takes and me? learning about silly things Listen. like how the state of matter in, an, in the gases in a nebula is technically plasma, so which is care. kind of different from and don't get your regular killed. gases when they're burning. Oh. Yeah, it is Thank like the fourth sir. state of matter. Okay. Anyway, I just, I just, I just thought it was interesting that that we made a load of really great points about science, and then we, and then we completely reused them. Only you plagiarized. Oh God, not you again! Oh fuck! God, what a horrible smile! Is that a mustache? Wait a second, is he the one in charge of the operation? Now it makes sense why the carrier is in the front and he's in the very back. It does. Yeah. It is so painfully hard to try and make make it these points sound new. Why is there internal yeah. consistency, like, with this game? That's... I'm not... I shouldn't be seeing these things. So weird. <laughs> well, at least we won't be doing this shit for 7-4. Oh, that's true. That one will be all original, won't it? Get rid of the enemy's flight units. That means get rid of the enemy's units. That means shoot the enemy until there is no more enemy. Yeah, so Raymond was just telling us to go balls deep in the enemy, I think. I don't know. That's that's tactical angle. Just go balls deep. And, uh... Yeah, thank god I started pointing basic editing. Anyhow, Thrush 220 AM, DLC weapon, too fucking overpowered. It's completely fucking ridiculous. Like, seriously, what the fuck? So, Fadul, would you recommend any special tactic when utilizing the Thrush 220 AM? Why, well, yes. Yes, I would. There are a variety of, of, of incredible, amazing things that you can do. Mostly involving taking advantage of its sight homing feature. Really? Which allows you to gain lock-ons based solely on line of sight and not based on the orientation of your fighter. How would I modify my uh, line of sight? Well, you can use the right stick to tilt your point of view around, or you can click the right stick to automatically focus your viewpoint on your current target, regardless of your facing. You can then engage in a bunch of crazy maneuvers like flying around in corkscrews and figure eights, while slowly building up 40 lock-ons on your target. That sounds insanely tactically advantageous. I think I will utilize that within my next videos. Thank you for duel. I think you will. Are you happy I didn't steal that from you, fucker? <laughs> very. I'm very happy you didn't steal this from me. And actually, I think we got hit by the laser there and it didn't do anything. Wow, I am disappointed in that. Oh, thank you, Ellen. All of the confidence. Uh. Oh, so the new leader is a 19-year-old boy, huh? They are led by a 19-year-old boy. I want everyone in this thread to imagine what they were doing at 19 years old, and then imagine them piloting, you know, multi-trillion dollar fucking AI space fighters, which are powered by the engines with electromagneto-hydrodynamic bullshit in just this fucking game. Don't forget, don't forget the Sylphid AI system. This sounds about right, I think I was 19 when I was playing this. Oh boy. So yeah. The Thrush is distinguished from all of your other regular multi-purpose missile systems by being able to lock onto ships on all of their hard points. Most of your missiles can't do that, and most of your missiles that can are very slow and not really that great and also liable to get shot down mid-flight. I do like to lock on on all the hard points at once. The Thrush is just... no. I'm going to hit you with 40 missiles now. I don't think anybody ever shot down my I'm gonna have to bleep that out, but whatever. Yeah. They can't know about the power of the I'm gonna have to bleep that out too. <laughs> or the uh 
down. Yeah. You know, you either you're gonna bleep all of this out, or you're gonna leave little bits in and make people realize that you edit a lot of the audio. Of course I edit a lot of the audio. Anyway, oh hey, the Hellfires are back. Those guys are totally competent. Okay, you are almost dead. Yeah, I... will I make it? What will happen? No, it's a good It's a good thing that your armor isn't going to get any lower than it already is. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Well... I am cutting it close! Yeah. So, if your armor looks like that, mm -hmm. and, you know, Raymond had a broken leg and was, like, losing atmosphere from his ship, how does your ship look, and how many of your limbs are broken? Kadana can never have children from all the Lucky Star contamination. Yeah, what happened is all of all of the bullets and missiles that hit our ship all happened mm -hmm. to hit him exactly on that pendant that he's wearing, and then bounced off harmlessly. That is a very lucky pendant, and how come it didn't help Raymond at all? Well, because he wasn't the protagonist. Oh, so it's the pendant is plot armor. Plot trinkets only protect protagonists. That doesn't really help. Come on, man, that's basic. Oh, I'm not gonna say that. Anyway, so here's me using Pylum again. Hey, did uh, did you ever like using the Pylum or machine gun? Not really. I was I was never really a fan of the machine gun type beam weapons. They were just kind of. There was always something better. Yeah, fair enough. I don't think either of us are really playing this game to gimp ourselves while doing it. We just want to blow up lots of ships as fast as possible. We want to blow up all the ships as fast as possible. I, I maintain machine guns just so I, you know, it doesn't always feel like I'm just some asshole walking on everything. I like to, uh, you know, aim and, you know, dodge around. Unfortunately, no game that doesn't let you do that, Strike Suit Zero. It is, you cannot yell on that game. Are we just gonna keep complaining on Strike Suit Zero with like every video? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, compare Strike Suit Zero to Mass Effect, which is completely unrelated. So I don't know why I brought up Mass Effect. I apologize. You brought it up ah. because you figured if Strike Suit Zero is gonna be a reference in every video, so does Mass Effect. Right? It's not gonna be a reference in every video, but I no, you brought it up because last time we did a take on this video, we reached the end, and you were like, "Oh fuck, we forgot to reference Mass Effect." Shut up! Hey, let's not talk about the alternate timeline, God! Look, sometimes I like to look at the alternate timeline and go, I just... I miss it. <laughs> that was a good timeline. Yeah. Like, uh, Hitler won World War II. That was... that was pretty nice. <laughs> no, yeah. wait! Okay, I'm pretty sure you are now on record as saying you think it's nice when Hitler wins World War II. Well, it's alternate universe, Hitler! What does that mean? He could be a cool dude. It's alternate universe Hitler. He has a reverse mustache. So, yeah, and he, he actually propagates Jews as the master race. Not even going to touch that one.